Curious Minds, I'm Dr Becky. Just a quick update from me this week, because actually I've been filming with Brady today for Deep Sky videos, so, you know, if I was going to get some signs done, I didn't really have time to prep a video for this, and two videos for Deep Sky as well. So just a quick update to say that Hubble Space Telescope is back online! Yes! This is the news that all astronomers have been waiting for. If you saw my space news video a couple weeks ago, you'll have seen that a Hubble Space Telescope, one of the gyroscopes in it, failed. Now, Hubble Space Telescope has six gyroscopes. Three of those are your bog standard gyroscopes. Two of them had already failed, and then the one that failed was another one of those. And then it's got three more advanced gyroscopes. Now one of those was problematic, but this is the one that they've been able to spin back up again and so that Hubble is operating in its three gyroscope mode that it was designed to do. So basically what they did with the gyroscope was they were getting two high rotational rates from it, uh, which help you measure you know, how fast the telescope is spinning and therefore where it's pointing in the sky. So they spun it between different modes and what they think has happened is they've sort of gotten rid of a blockage that was stopping it from performing as it should. And so now they're back to a three gyroscope observing mode, which means it should be able to point at all areas of the sky, no matter where it is in the Earth's orbit. And that means science. It observed a really distant galaxy early Saturday morning, and they said that the data for that came through absolutely fine. So this is the best news ever, and I'm so, 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 so happy. <laughs> Speaking of data from telescopes though, some of you may remember that I went observing back in May to California on a telescope called the Shane 3 meter up near the San Francisco Bay Area and I figured maybe next week we could do something a bit different on this channel, I might do like a vlog that sort of goes through you know, where, we're, where I'm up to with the data analysis uh, of the images I took using that telescope so you can see what they actually look like why I went to do the observing and now what we're trying to achieve as well. And I think I, I might do a couple of those vlogs just to keep you guys updated, you know, as we go sort of from like photons to scientific paper. So I hope you like the sound of that. Until then, I'm Dr. Becky, over and out.